Hey, you wanna make some risotto? Yeah, do you know what risotto is? No? Risotto's a, a technique, not an actual dish. You can do risotto with rice, which we're gonna be using, and this is arborio rice. So it's uh, short, uh, starchy gr uh, grains of rice, and I'll uh, throw a photo in of normal long grain rice and then the risotto. Oh, she's watching me. So, what we've got for our risotto is, uh, again, the rice. We're gonna do a mushroom uh, risotto, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some onions, and garlic, and then I have some chicken stock that's in the back uh, getting hot. So, we're gonna uh, relocate the camera to the stove top, and Scarlett is gonna help us get our risotto thrown together in the pan. Again, it's more about technique than it is about uh, what the food is. So, we'll see in just a second. All right, so over here at the stove top, we have our uh, chicken broth heated up. So we're gonna keep that on a, on a low heat. Once I get this going, I am gonna turn the vent on my uh, over my range. So uh, you won't be able to hear me, but I'll give you a, a quick rundown. I got some oil in the pan hot. I'm gonna uh, add my uh, rice in. And we're just gonna coat that rice with our fat. This is olive oil. And then we're just gonna toast this. So we're gonna get a little bit of color on this. And once we get a little bit of toasting on it, we'll throw in our garlic and our onion. Uh, and we'll cook those down until our onion is translucent so you can start to kind of see through that. I have my heat on just a little bit too low. But I'm gonna turn my vent on so you won't be able to hear me. Uh, and then once we get our um, rice toasted and our onions and garlic to the point we want, we'll add in our mushrooms and then we'll start ladling a little stock at a time uh, just to draw the starch out of this uh, so we get a nice creamy uh, end result. All right, so now I've got my uh, rice a little bit toasty. I've got my onions and my garlic cooked down. Added in my mushrooms. And then I'm just gonna add in about a cup of stock at a time until it absorbs by the rice. And then I'll add a little more. 
Just keep stirring that. The more you stir it, the more starch you're going to drive out. And that's where you're going to get your creaminess in your rice. All right, we are right near the end, and when you're uh, tasting this, what you're looking for texture-wise is you don't want mushy rice, uh, but you also don't want raw, like, grainy uh, rice. So somewhere between. Really, it's up to you, but I think uh, if you bite it and it sticks in your teeth and it's still not quite ready to go yet, uh, kind of like pasta, al dente pasta. And I'm cutting it really close on my liquid. I'm just like right down to it. I might get lucky. I have about a tablespoon of, of, of broth left, minus that that I just lost over the side. And you can see how this expanded in the, in the, in the pan. We started with just a small amount. It's about two cups of rice, and now we're somewhere close to probably six, six or seven. All right, so we, I'm going to dry up the last little bit of uh, moisture here. And you can see my mushrooms stayed pretty, pretty intact. I'm going to adjust my heat down to low. Give this a little taste test for texture, not for flavor yet. pretty darn perfect right there. All right, so we're gonna add in, I have some Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna add a little bit of cheese into this, or a lot of it. And we'll give this a quick stir. And then, we like the sweet peas here. So we're gonna add some sweet peas. So we've got the rice that doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, chicken, broth, Mushrooms, a little bit of earthiness from the mushrooms, saltiness from our cheese, and a little nuttiness as well. And then we have our peas here. Salt. And then I always like to add just a little, it's about two tablespoons of butter right there. And this butter is gonna help kind of smooth this whole thing out. All right, so we're gonna relocate the camera, get this plated up, and then we'll call Scarlett back so she can be our official taste tester. All right, so we'll see you in just a minute. Dodo's done, Scarlett was watching, what were you watching? Um, the iPad. She was watching the iPad, but our risotto's done. We're gonna throw it in this bowl. Hey, where are you going? I'm going in my room to wash. Don't you wanna taste this and tell me if it's good or not? Please. I'm gonna taste it when I when I when I it over. All right. Well, apparently she doesn't care about risotto. She cares more about the uh, iPad. So, no taste test from Scarlett. Here is our risotto, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty great. Uh, different version of rice. If you've ever had risotto, the texture is different. This is more creamy. It's not a dry, like a fried rice or uh, a steamed rice. Not that those are dry, but this, uh, the starch that we've drawn out of this has definitely given it a creamy sort of finish. So that is our risotto. Um, 
You don't have to do the peas or the mushroom or the cheese. There's a lot of different variations out there. Uh, so with that being said, I hope that you guys uh, give this a shot. Make sure though that you are using the Arborio rice because it does have a, a bit more starch in it and you'll need that when you're uh, making this rice to get the creamy texture. So uh, I hope you learned something uh, and I hope you try this. We'll see you next time. Do you like it? I like it. How much do you like it? Um, much. Much. All right, we'll take much over none. Good job, me. <laughs>